Marlon Briscoe was born in Oakland, California, and moved to Omaha when he was three years old when his mother took a job at a meat packaging plant. Marlon grew up in the South Omaha housing projects near the stockyards, and at the insistence of a cousin, he learned to play a variety of sports at a young age. It soon became evident that Marlon was a very gifted and versatile athlete, and he excelled at both football and basketball at Omaha South High. Despite his athletic talents, Marlon was passed over by the University of Nebraska at Lincoln. But Omaha University football coach Al Coniglia had a feeling that Marlon would be just the quarterback OU needed, and his hunch was right. As a junior at Omaha University, Marlon completed 1,668 passing yards and set a school record for total offense with 2,181 yards. In his senior year, Marlon threw for a stunning 25 touchdown passes and racked up 2,639 yards of total offense. His remarkable career at OU placed him in the school's Athletic Hall of Fame. Even though Marlon had produced very impressive numbers as a quarterback at UNO, he was scouted by the NFL as a cornerback. The Denver Broncos selected Marlon in the 14th round of the 1968 draft, and although they gave him a look at quarterback at training camp, they relegated him to the defensive squad but when injuries and other problems plagued Denver's quarterback lineup, Broncos coach Lou Saban was forced to call on Marlon Briscoe. Marlon saw his first action at quarterback as a rookie on September 29, 1968, when he came into the game in the fourth quarter against the Boston Patriots. On his second series of the game, he commanded an 80-yard touchdown drive. He also ran for a 38-yard touchdown. In the next game on October 6, 1968, Marlon Briscoe made American history as he became the first African-American starting quarterback in the NFL. In that 1968 season, Marlon threw 14 touchdown passes, which is still a Denver Bronco rookie record. He averaged 17.1 yards per completion and led the American Football League in that category in 1968. He also ran for 308 yards and three touchdowns. Shockingly, after his phenomenal rookie year, the Broncos released Marlin before the 1969 season. Marlin was traded to the Buffalo Bills and played there as a receiver determined to shine as an NFL player. He led Buffalo in touchdown catches in each of his three seasons there and was chosen to the NFL All-Pro team in 1970. In 1971, the Bills traded Marlin to the Miami Dolphins where he won two Super Bowl rings, one of which was on the undefeated 1972 team where Marlon was the leading receiver. Marlon retired from the NFL in 1976. In 2006, West Omaha Films announced plans to make a movie about Marlon's life. Also in 2006, Nike ran a popular ad campaign about a mythical high school named Briscoe High in honor of Marlon. The school's football team, the Briscoe Hawks, features NFL superstars, with Marlon making cameo appearances in the commercials. Marlon Briscoe will always be known as a barrier breaker in the NFL, but his true legacy is one of a powerful role model of self-determination for people of all races and ages.